If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. You can also arrange the document windows in Photoshop workspaces to suit your workflow needs. By default, document windows in Photoshop appear as named tabs that appear docked in the center of the application window. To switch between the opened tabbed document windows, click the name of the document window tab to view. To rearrange the order of the tabs from left to right, click and drag the Tab Documents tab to a new location in the tabbed document windows and then release it. Alternatively, you can also arrange document windows in Photoshop much like you arrange panels. You can group them together into tab groups that appear floating over the application window. To show a tabbed document window in Photoshop in its own floating document window, click and drag the Tab Documents tab away from the Tabbed Document Title area and then release it into the desired location in the application window. Alternatively, select the window to activate it. Then select Window, Arrange, Float in Window from the menu bar to float the window in its own window. Alternatively, to float all opened document windows in their own cascading floating document windows, select Window, Arrange, Float All in Windows from the menu bar. If you float the document windows in their own panes, you can also group them together into tabbed groups, much like panels. To group floating document windows, Click and drag the tab title of a document window and drop it onto the document window with which to group it. Then release it when the destination document window's drop zone location glows blue. The documents then appear as tabs within a single floating window, and you can click each one's tab name to switch to it. Conversely, to dock a floating tabbed document window in Photoshop, click and drag the Tab Documents tab towards the Tab Document title area until the Center Workspace Area drop zone location glows blue, and then release it. Alternatively, to dock all document windows back into separate named tabs in Photoshop, select Window, Arrange, Consolidate all to tabs from the menu bar. You can also tile and cascade opened document windows in Photoshop. To tile opened document windows in Photoshop, select Window, Arrange, Tile from the menu bar. Alternatively, to cascade opened document windows in Photoshop, select Window, Arrange, Cascade from the menu bar. To select from different preset tiling layouts for opened windows in Photoshop, select Window, Arrange from the menu bar. Then select the desired preset tiled layout to apply from the choices shown at the top of the side menu of choices that then appears. If using a tiled document window layout for multiple documents in Photoshop, you can change the zoom, document content location, and or rotation of the content in the active tiled document window, and then apply the same to the other tiled document windows. To do this, first adjust the zoom, document location shown on screen, and or rotation of the currently active tiled document window. Then select Window, Arrange from the menu bar. To then match only the magnification in the other tiles to the current tile, select the Match Zoom command. Alternatively, to only match the currently displayed document location in the other tiles, select the Match Location command. Alternatively, to only match the currently displayed document rotation in the other tiles, select the Match Rotation command. 
Alternatively, to match the currently displayed document's magnification, document location, and rotation in the other tiles, select the Match All command. To open a copy of the current document window as a new window in Photoshop, which only duplicates the content shown in the window and does not create a duplicate of the file itself, select Window, Arrange, New Window for File Name, where File Name is the name of the currently selected document window's file. Because the new document window is a different view of the same file, changes to the file's content you make in one window appear in both. However, the two separate document windows allow you to have separate window magnifications and can focus on two different locations in the same file as needed. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.